Hi there, it's Lee here for iMineBlocks. Welcome back to a brand new video. So just a couple of days ago, I did a Zcash miner video and that was based around the nice hash miner. At the time the actual uh, miner was released, there wasn't any other options. So I just made a video about that particular miner and how it was used. Um, there was a little bit of um, flack um, because of the way the actual mining works with the nice hash miner. So with the nice hash miner, it basically connected to the nice hash pool and automatically converted any of the Zcash coins directly, exchanged them for Bitcoin. So some people were unhappy about that and they said that they wanted to directly mine um, Zcash, not exchange it for Bitcoin, uh, which is fair enough and I understand it. But at the time, it was the only miner and configuration that was available. So I just made the video with what I had um, on hand. So since that time, it's been a few days and there's been some updates done. Um, OC Miner basically did a fork of that same um, nice hash miner and converted it so that you can set uh, different pools and not just a nice hash pool. So it's a little bit of a long winded intro, but I'm just going to, I just want to give you a little bit of background of it, you know this miner and how it kind of um, come about. So what we're going to do is we're going to be reinstalling the, the forked version of the nice hash miner. So let's get started with this process. So previous to this video, if you already downloaded the nice hash miner, you just want to make a change to your folder names. So in the actual home folder, I've got this NHEQ miner. So what I'm going to do is rename this um, to dash uh, nice hash just because when we actually download the new uh, kind of forked version, it will put it in the same NHEQ folder. So we can just close that for the time being. So if we go to the zec.supernova.cc web address, and then if you go to um, help, it'll give you this kind of getting started page. And then from here, you can access the various links. And of course, I'll put the links in the description as well as so the what we're going to be doing is the downloading the actual um, updated nice hash miner so we've got the fork of this nice hash miner here so we've already opened that in a new window and this is the one here so what we need to do is um let's go back there i was just on the releases section there sorry about that so we're going to download it from here so what we need to do is open up a terminal so we press Control, Alt, and T together, and that opens up a new terminal window. And then we're just basically gonna go through these commands one by one. If you haven't done so already, you need to install this part, which is the uh, dependencies. Um, I've already done that, so we can just skip that step. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these as we go. So like I say, this video is kind of a redo of the previous one. So normally I take a little bit more time um, in explaining things uh, as it goes sort of step by step. But with this one, because it's kind of like a redo, I'm just going to be zipping through it and uh, just kind of uh, showing you as, as I go. So I'm just going to copy the next line, which uh, creates a folder. We need to uh, make the directory which is build and change the directory into build and then the next line is the qmake. I'm going to paste that and then we just need the make command. So this is basically going to create uh, the actual programs that we're going to be using for the mining process. Just let that go through just um, a minute or two. So this miner, like I say, is actually a fork of the nice hash miner. The only thing they changed into it is a line that sets you let lets you set the pool address. So in nice hash, the first miner, um, that was just a static address and it only connected to the nice hash pool. Uh, with this one, they've just changed that so you can enter any pool that you wish. Um, and most people will be using the supernova uh, pool. Okay, that's completed now. So now we need to actually start the miner itself. So I'll just show you what we need to do to get that started. So if you go back to the actual supernova pool, there is a, a command line option. 
So this is the command line that you're going to be using. So I'll just quickly break it down uh, for you. So you've got the call to the nice hash miner. The L is the actual pool address, and then this is the, the corresponding pool address. So you can set it whatever pool you like. Most people, like I say, will be using the supernova pool. Then you've got dash U, and then you've got your supernova, the first part of your username, and the second part is your worker name. Then you've got P, your password for that account, and then T, which is the CPU cores that you want to be using. So I'll just show you uh, my version of this. I think I already created a text file uh, when I modified the other version. Let's have a look there. Um, yeah, so you can see I've got a slightly modified version here. I'll just change that. So. So this will be my configuration line to actually use it with the supernova pool. So like I say, it's the first part is the call to the miner. This part is the actual mining pool that we're going to be using. Then we've got my username for the pool and then we've got a worker reference. Uh, we also need to add in there a password as well. So P and the password is X. Most people just use X because the worker name um, doesn't really need to be that secure. And then we've got the CPU threads is four. So that's going to be my command line. I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to save it as well. Now, if I paste that here into the actual terminal, let's just move that over a little bit and press enter and we should have our miner running. So it looks good. It's uh, connected to the Stratum server, supernova pool. We're running on four threads. And then it's yeah receiving work um, and submitting shares. So that's going through. Uh, we'll just let that run through for a second, and then we should get a hash rate. And that basically tells us that everything is running well. So we've got a first hash rate there, 0.27 hashes per second, and uh, that will uh, continue to increase. Um, I don't actually have my login details on this particular machine because obviously we're in a uh, Ubuntu uh, box. Um, so I can't actually log in and show the hash rate on the actual port itself, but you get the idea, you know it's working. So I just wanted to share that quickly with you. And that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, then please uh, leave those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.